So, Garrett, first thing i got to ask you, you were the target, apparently, in the water balloon <laughs> fight at the close of yeah. camp. What happened? I don't know. I guess, I guess I'm just a lightning rod. Either you love me or you hate me, and some of the kids, I guess, I guess they wanted to hit me. So, it was a great day, and, you know, it ended, ended really, really well. You recently had a post about your decision to come to West Virginia. You said, best decision I ever yeah. made. What goes into making that, and specifically yeah. this one? Yeah, you know, I you know, I think just being a 17-year-old really kid in high school and, you know, making that decision and, you know, three years later, two and a half years later, you know, it's still holding true to, to be the best decision of my life. You know, I'm super, watch out, Kobe. Uh, you know, I'm super, super blessed and super honored to, you know, just be able to live in this state and, you know, be able to play for, for the wonderful university and I couldn't be happier with, with my decision. For spring practice, what were your goals? How far do you feel like you got to achieving some of those? And what are your next steps for summer and fall? Yeah, you know, I definitely think some of my goals for with especially with the new offense coming in was really to just just fully grasp the whole offense, even though it's kind of similar, but there's still some nuances and stuff, and then really just get super comfortable in the pocket. You know, I think I made some strides last last spring uh, being comfortable in the pocket. And I think so, just going forward, just to even get even more comfortable uh, in the pocket. On the differences in the offense, major anything that was a sticker for you, or some things that just came naturally. I, th I think you have both. I think you have both minor and major because, you know, we, we still ran some plays were still the same, but, you know, just different looks that we had and all that stuff. So there's diff all these different little nuances that seem minor to some people, but, you know, to football guys and stuff, they're, they're pretty major things. But for a whole grasp of the whole entire offense, it, it, was, it was essentially pretty similar. For your game to be at its best, does there have to be a little bit of freelance excitement to make that work? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think that's that's when I'm at my best is whenever I'm just able to go play freely. Um, but also, I do know that I have to I have to be able to, to function in, in a normal offense. That it can't be all helter skelter all the time. That I do have to be able to have, to have 17 play drives down the field and stuff. And I think over the course of my career, I've definitely learned that. And um, you know, I'm excited for the progress that that our offense is going to make. And then finally, back to today is seeing the joy that the kids play with when you're just getting out there throwing the ball yeah. around. Is that a throwback? That seems a perfect fit for you. Yeah, I mean, because that, that's why you fall in love with the game. You know, you're playing with your neighborhood buddies, you know. Yeah, we, we play in front of hundreds of thousands of people or whatever, but, you know, you play you play the game because it's fun. And, you know, there's a lot of pressure and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, you know, it's a game and, you know, we're here to, we're here to enjoy it.